seen this a few times at um, markets here. It's sold as a medicine. What they do is they take this fruit, the flesh on the outside, and you dry it out, and you make tea out of it. So it's not one that I'm going to eat fresh, because um, I don't think it's edible that way. But supposedly it has a lot of health benefits, so you'll see this a lot at um, wet markets here. They'll sell like you know, like six or seven of these for like 25 cents. And um, the idea is that you use this for uh, medicine, not for eating. But uh, because of that, I'm not going to eat it. But you can look at it. it looks kind of cool. Nice red color. Hey, why the hell not? Alright guys, I am going to review the tea. I looked around for this fruit, uh, for the tea, at some wet markets, but I was getting pretty low on time um, when I made this video with, uh, with that fruit, so I didn't get a chance to find it. But I, uh, I went on eBay and managed to find a vendor from um, Singapore who was selling this, this fruit as a tea, and it is just the fruit. Like, that's it. If you look at that, this is the, uh, that red fruit shredded up into, like, little bits here, and you just use this to make that tea. There's the name there. It's, uh, Makota Dua. I'm probably saying that wrong, sorry. Um, otherwise known as God's Crown. It has that name because this is supposed to have remarkable health benefits to it. What it's supposed to be good for is everything. Uh, I saw some um, people saying that it is only used as an anti-cancer, and some people say it's only used as uh, uh, antihistamine. I did do some uh, research trying to see if this is actually good for anything, and um, there isn't a lot. Uh, I did find one study that said that they, uh, they tested this fruit with uh, cells from leukemia that they got from mice. Okay, so mice with leukemia, they took the um, this fruit and they got like the extract out of it. I think they might have used like the bark actually, but supposedly the fruit and the bark have like a similar property in it. And they took it and they put it. They treated the uh, cell line of that mouse leukemia with this and it showed signs that it is actually helping. Uh, you know, I, I'm highly skeptical about everything that's to do with health benefits and fruit, but this one does seem to actually have something there. So I would say, like, if uh, you want to take this as a supplement, um, do research, do more research than me, and maybe you can see that it actually helps for something. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really know that much about that. I'm here to review the flavor of fruit, not the health benefits, and um, that's what I'm going to do right now. It smells very, like, smoky and woody. It smells like, yeah, it kind of smells like a campfire. I marked the pot, the water line right there, so I can kind of, like, gauge when it goes down about two cups. So once this uh, is reduced, about two cups, then I'm going to drink it. For it to reduce that much is kind of a lot. You know, that's going to take some time, I think. So it's about uh, 4.30 now. Okay, I'm going to give this about a half an hour and then check on it. Okay, it's actually been about 25 minutes, but I just, like, looked at this and, uh, yeah. It went more than halfway, so it is, um... It's done. <laughs> it's definitely done. I think I might have cooked it a little too long, but it uh, should still be fine. I don't think this is like doesn't have to be super exact. You see, it turned into like a amber kind of color. Looks like tea, which is good because that's what this is supposed to be. Let's see what it smells like. Still smells about the same, kind of like smoky wood chips. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm not super excited to try this, but um, it just looks like regular tea, so maybe it'll taste like regular tea. Hmm. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's not especially good. It has a little bit of a bitterness to it. 
it's got a smokiness to it. It's not sweet at all. It's not fruity whatsoever. And it does have kind of like a woody kind of flavor to it. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like Marmite. Yeah, it's got like a savory uh, kind of flavor. It doesn't have like the saltiness that Marmite has, but it has that kind of like... It's hitting those taste buds, those savory taste buds. It's like a smoky Marmite. Just kind of odd, but it's got also like a bitterness to it that Marmite does not have. So uh, I would prefer, you know, hot water with Marmite in it, because that would be like having soup. This is like having soup, kind of, but also mixed with like a weird... It was like if you took made some soup and you put like a twig in it, like a smoked twig. That's kind of what you get. Um, but I'm going to try this with some honey and see if maybe that'll, that'll help things, because it, it's kind of strong. So maybe if I take a few squirts of this honey in there, it'll lessen that, that harshness. Honey has been added... I liked it better before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would... Oh, yeah, it's like adding honey to soup. It doesn't go. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I didn't like it really that much before, but I like it less when you add honey to it. So, uh, taking this as a sweet is maybe not the way to go. Um, I say if like, you want to take this for some reason, there's something wrong with you, and you're pretty sure it's going to help you, then um, maybe put some of these things in like a little strainer bag or something and put it into a soup. It's, it's interesting me, to me, though, just like I've seen this fruit like all over the place, and I've always been so curious about it, but I know that I can't eat it. So uh, I'm glad to finally know what it tastes like. Uh, I wouldn't have expected it to taste like this. I, you know, you see the kind of like weird fruits like that, and you just like you know it's medicinal. You just expect it to taste like bitter chemicals and just like be completely unpalatable. This is not that bad. Uh, it's not good. I wouldn't go out of my way to have it, but um, it's. I can see drinking this if you really wanted to. Like if you believe that this does help you. Um, this wouldn't be completely intolerable, you know. Like I said, mix it in your soup would be even better. But um, other than that, um, I think I'm going to probably not finish the rest of this. Hey guys, do you want to see the next video right now? Well, you can. Just uh, go to my Patreon page. Just for one dollar, you can see next week's episode one week early. There's also a whole bunch of other bonuses you can get, like exclusive content, getting weird stuff in the mail, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Uh, and this really does help me out. All the money that I make goes towards producing these videos. So all the, the traveling that I do, all the fruit that I buy, all the equipment that I need, you know, that is all Patreon money. So without that help, this series would not be possible. So if you want to help me out, if you want to get some cool stuff, just click on that link, click on this video, and you can learn more. Thanks so much.